Hello everybody, my name is Gabrielle Ray and I do cases on unsolved homicides, missing people, and unidentified persons. Today I will be doing another one of my Missing in America series. Um, I will cover three cases of missing people and then we will go over what could have happened to them. Uh, today we are going to go over the cases of David Carter, Eugene Campbell, and Lisa Dwyer. David Carter has been missing since December 14th, 2004. He is missing from Whiteford, Maryland. He was born on January 1st, 1968. He is a white male who stands at 5 foot 7, 175 pounds. He has light brown hair and blue eyes. He was last seen wearing a sweatshirt, white socks. Um, the sweatshirt actually had the letters BJ on them. Um, an orange t-shirt and work boots that were tan. He has a mustache. He has a scar in the shape of an H on the center of his chest, scar on his left arm, and one on his right leg. He also has a gap between his upper front teeth. He was 36 years old and his nickname was Dave. He is missing several teeth and has previously fractured his left wrist. His last known address was Auble Road in Peach Bottom Township. Auble Road is actually in Pennsylvania, very close to the Maryland border. He was last seen getting into a 1993 Nissan regular cab pickup truck with two other male individuals. He was last seen around 2 o'clock p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. on the 14th and he was leaving his place of employment on Taylor Road. He got in the truck with two Caucasian males that were never identified and he was never seen again. He was known to frequent the West Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area in Camden, New Jersey. Foul play is suspected in his disappearance and the mother told a news outlet in 2005 that she believes that the men responsible for his disappearance are still free. Unfortunately, his mother passed away in 2010, and also it is believed that someone from the Delta, Pennsylvania or Whiteford, Maryland area know where he is. Maybe we don't have enough money for big rewards, but it should be on the news just like all the others, says his mother. Pennsylvania Crime Stoppers is offering a reward for any information on his disappearance, but unfortunately it is an unnamed reward, so I am not sure how much the amount currently is. Whiteford itself tends to be all farmland and has a lot of quiet, unpaved roads. And um, also some researchers online were wondering if police had ever checked the quarries, which are really deep and filled with water. That is all the information I have on David's disappearance, but it is believed that, you know, maybe the two men that he was with did do something to harm him or possibly have him abducted. Or maybe he took this opportunity to run away with his life and start anew somewhere or even take his own life. We don't know, but there's not much information on this case, so the speculations could be anywhere far and back and you know unfortunately people like us really want to know what happened to these people but there's no information there's no you know really news articles on this there's only a couple started conversations by some web sleuthers and by the charlie project and namus but there's nothing to remind the community you know hey we're still looking for this guy you know, he's still out there somewhere, and we don't know where he is. And that is the number one problem I have about certain disappearances, that there's literally no information on them. And it's, it's very frustrating. It really, really is frustrating. If David was still alive today, he would be 51 years old. Um, again, he is a white male, born on January 1st, 1968. 5'7 to 175 pounds, light brown hair and blue eyes, last seen wearing a sweatshirt with, that is red with the letters BJ on it, white socks, orange t-shirt and tan work boots, has a scar the shape of an H on the center of his chest, 
scar on his left arm and a scar on his right leg and a gap between his upper front teeth. If you or anybody you know have any information on David's disappearance, please call the Maryland Police Department, the Bel Air Barrack, at 410-838-4101. His name is case number is MP1723, and the agency case number is 04D028215. Lisa Dwyer went missing on July 4th, 2015. She's from Fort Washington, Maryland, and was born on September 5th, 1965. She is a black female who stands at five foot seven and weighs 120 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing a teal shirt with blue sweatpants. She has tattoos on her back and her chest and a scar on her forehead. She wears contacts and or glasses. Um, she was age 49 at the time of her disappearance. And if she was still around today, she would be 54 years old. She was last seen in Fort Washington, Maryland and was never heard from again. Unfortunately, we don't have much information on this disappearance besides the fact that she may have traveled to California after her disappearance. I do not know why investigators think this or what the circumstances surrounding this case were because can't find really any information on, you know, if she had relatives in California, if she liked California and had previously visited the state. I do not know, but she could have possibly traveled to California. Therefore, Maryland and California authorities are investigating the disappearance. Um, there are so many, this leads to so many, so many open questions as to speculations and theories. Could she have run off, committed suicide, you know, ran into foul play? There's so, abducted, you know, there's so much that we could assume from this because there is so little information that we can't know for sure where she is or what she's doing, but all we can do is pray to God that she is okay and she is safe. Once again, Lisa is a black female born on September 5th, 1965. She stands at five foot seven and weighs 120 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes, was last seen wearing a teal shirt with blue sweatpants, has tattoos on her back and her chest and a scar on her forehead, and also wears glasses or contact lenses. If you or anybody you know has any information on this case, please call the Prince George Police Department at 301-249-3276 and unfortunately I cannot find an agency case number or a NamUs ID for her because she is not yet entered in NamUs. Thank you. Eugene Campbell disappeared on September 26, 2005 from Roaring Springs, Pennsylvania. He was born on February 9th, 1953. He was a white male, height 5 foot 11, and weighed 240 pounds. His hair was graying brown and he had blue eyes. His nickname is Jean and he was last seen wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, and a brown belt. He had Nike brand athletic shoes on and he wore glasses with silver wire frames. He has a mole on the back of his neck, a lump above his one knee, and one eye had a small brown spot on it. He wore a yellow gold wedding band with diamond chips worn on the left ring finger. He wore a yellow gold 20 inch necklace stainless steel and a stainless steel watch worn on his right wrist. He also had several teeth missing and occasionally walked with a limp. He was 52 years old at the time of his disappearance. He was last seen at approximately 8 a.m. by family members at his residence in the vicinity of the 700 block of Blair Street in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. He was reportedly later seen on a surveillance tape at a market in the vicinity of the 900 block of East Main Street. East Main Street is actually in Roaring Springs, Pennsylvania and not Hollidaysburg. 
He owned a black 1994 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck with a silver pattern on its sides and also a Pennsylvania license plate. And to this day, the vehicle is still missing. He is considered missing under unknown circumstances. His DNA, dentals, and fingerprints are unfortunately unavailable, and today he would be 52 years old. Again, since there is no information really on his disappearance as to where he was going, who he was seeing, if he was with anybody, that there is a lot of things you could speculate, going ranging all the way from suicide to accident to foul play to disappearing on his own we really just do not have any clues as to what he was doing on the day of his disappearance and i honestly don't even know which family member had seen him at his house last and there's so little information on this case that even though there is such a small amount of information i feel these cases are still pertinent to learn about and Try and get as much detail as you can and, you know, try and get the word out on their disappearance because, yes, they might not have as much information as certain other cases, but they're still just as important. Once again, Eugene was born on February 9th, 1953. He was a white male standing at 5 foot 11. He, had, he weighed 240 pounds and had graying brown hair and blue eyes. His nickname was Gene, and he was last seen wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, and a brown belt. He had Nike brand athletic shoes and had glasses with silver wire rim frames. He had a mole on the back of his neck, a lump above his one knee, and one eye had a small brown spot on it. He had a yellow gold wedding band with diamond chips worn on his left ring finger, a yellow gold 20 inch necklace, and a stainless steel watch worn on his right wrist. He walked to the limp occasionally, and s several of his teeth are missing. And also, it's important to know, uh, I don't have his vehicle license plate number, but his vehicle also is still missing, and that is a 1994 Toyota Tacoma with a silver pattern on the side. If you or anybody you know has any information on the disappearance of Eugene, please call the Holidaysburg Borough Police Department at 814-695-7543 or also his name is case number is MP783 and the agency case number is 0502926. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Please tune into the next video. Bye-bye.